Hi, uh, Danny, Chanel. This video is actually made for you guys. Uh, this is a short video on how to convert a cross tab table, right, uh, into a list table. I think it would be very helpful for you if you get uh, this kind of data. Uh, what the tool that you use, uh, the tool that I recommend using is actually Power Query, right. So let me show you how quickly how to use Power Query. So uh, first, you highlight the table. Then you um, insert table, right? Then you click tick on my table has headers, right? So now you have a table now. Uh, the next thing is uh, uh, use uh, Power Query. So. Uh, uh, I will give you the website to download uh, the Power Query add-in in the description below. So what you do is um, you download this uh, Microsoft Power Query, right? So my version is uh, 30, uh, Excel 32. So check your Excel version and download accordingly and then install. So it's uh, it's a Microsoft add-in too, yeah? Uh, let me close this. All right, so once you have uh, the table already, you click on Power Query, then you click on uh, click on from table range, right? So it will start Power Query, all right? Then you have your uh, table here. So what you do is you highlight all your columns, right? Your and then you click on transform, right? Then you click on uh, this one, and then you put uh, you click on unpivot only selected columns. So now you have uh, all uh, the two columns, right? Uh, as uh, as part of a list, right? And uh, you can then, you can actually uh, filter the the column, right? Or you can you can actually delete the whole column as well, right? Duplicate column, uh, remove column. So uh, you can remove duplicate. You transform a lot of things you can do, right? With this uh, Power Query, and then here are the steps, right? So once you click on file close and load right you will remember all your steps this is like power bi actually so you will remember all your steps right so now now your your cross step table is now converted to a list table right the good thing about this is when you um, add more add more row right two three four then you right click refresh right the power query will run behind the scene and then it will add the new data um, and then probably you can uh, you can do your formula here right if you have any formulas so maybe uh, let us see what what you will do so you add and row at second row one two three four let's see what you will do you refresh yeah you, you won't you won't you won't uh, copy formula for you yeah it's okay just play around with this i hope this will help you uh if you like the video please uh, subscribe to my channel thank you so much bye bye